morning, sports fans. I want to just start off this video by saying I am so sorry to both Karen and Colin and Mallory for taking me forever to get this Good Shuffle Pro uploaded um, and out to you guys. It's completely my fault. It has nothing to do with them. And uh, I just want to start off by saying that um, my experience with these guys <clears throat> has been phenomenal. Uh, Karen has been great. Mallory is just awesome. And Colin is a diamond in the rough. Uh, he's responsible for customer service. And let me tell you, he sets the bar. He just sets the bar. Trust me when I tell you this. He sets the bar. He's really good. We go over a lot of different things uh, today, both Karen and I. And um, listen, the Good Shuffle Pro commitment is a big one. And I just want to start off by saying that it is built for businesses that are legitimately in the rental, like wedding business. And if you can take the time to vet through your inventory, big or small, you will do yourself an incredible favor by taking advantage of Good Shuffle Pro. It's what a lot of people are using. And I started investigating the rental stuff. And I think I sent an email. Who's the woman I talked to? I think you talked to Mallory first. Mallory. Yeah, on our sales so team. Mallory, yeah. Mallory was beast. I was like, I don't need it, Mallory. Don't worry about it. You know, stop. And then she came over the top. She was great. She overcame all my objections and she made it easy and she got me on the phone. And now I'm a believer. You know what I mean? I love it. Yeah, it's good. It's a good story. All right. Well, we have 19 people registered. We got six of them here right now. Believe it or not, it's pretty common that people show up late. But believe it or not, what usually ends up happening is, is I take this video and I'm going to upload it to YouTube and I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel and I blow it out to everyone. And it'll, people who can't come tonight will watch it and it'll be great. Awesome. So I think let's dive into this thing. And it was a great segue, I think, into um into how i came to find find you guys and how we got connected and what i can tell you is is before i got started with good shuffle pro i was using a survey tool that i made that would allow me to have a, a an embedded link and i took the embedded link and i put it on my website and i said if you want to make a reservation click on the embedded link they didn't know it was an embedded link survey would come up and tell us what you want you know, where are you located? You know, who's it for? You know, would you be open to receiving marketing emails from us? You know, like that kind of thing, asking for permission. And it worked great. It really did. And then I integrated it with Square. You know, Zapper, right? Yeah. Zapier? Zapier? Zapier. 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 Yeah. Is it French? Anyway, I so I, <laughs> I embedded it uh, so it zapped everything into my Square. So I didn't have to a data entry. Cool. And uh, it worked great. And then I finally got to a point where I I started my my uh, I got Shopify as my website. And yeah. in the, in the process of doing that, um, I realized that I wanted to do better than what I had. And Shopify was the way to do it. So in the process of doing that, um, one of our competitors does what kind of does what you do, but doesn't. It's like a homegrown thing and it's a franchise. So when you come part of the franchise, you get the software package and that, and when you go and you rent a sign, it breaks it all down. Now they do it in a lot of different ways that I just don't like. So the fact that we can customize it makes it better. But my workflow from the survey has completely changed. And okay. what it's changed into is changed into your workflow. And the workflow of having a wish list and the workflow of getting everybody into the system. I love the fact that I can have contracts that they can do electronic signatures. And I love the fact that it's integrated with Stripe. Um, that's a great thing. And I just am not, I, I want to be so proficient at using this thing that I don't have to worry about it. And the, and the reason why I wanted to understand what Good Shuffle did was for the reason that you can track every single thing that you have. And 
that also meant too I had to inventory everything and that was not fun but if I'm going to be serious about this business I have to know what my signs are and I have to be able to be accountable for that stuff and I think you know enough about me I'm not an Excel spreadsheet guy I'm not a detail guy I hate all that stuff so if I could do it once and have it in a system and then just keep adding as I go like that's a home run for me and the fact that it will track it is even better so what I thought I would do is I want to walk through my website and I want to show everybody how simple it is how simple I think it is all right and I know enough about my process that I as a yard cart guy I do want to connect with my customers I don't want them to everything to be automated because here in North Carolina you know you get some old school moms or old school you know they want to talk on the phone and they want to talk on the long phone for a long time out in California it's not the same thing they just want to text but here um, they want to talk on the phone and we want to understand what it is that they want who they're celebrating what do they like you know do you want unicorns do you want purple unicorns right I mean like I can't even believe I'm saying that stuff but it's true you know we talk yeah. Jennifer talks about all this stuff so I wanted it to be simple I want it to be easy and I think I've accomplished that with your system. What I have not accomplished is an effective way to manage it all. Because the way my inventory is now, I'm not able to track it as efficiently as I, I am. Okay. So let me run through that. I'm 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 full disclosure here. I'm gonna, you know, you can tell me what isn't working and you can tell me what is working. I want you to tell me. If, if I'm not using the software the way that I should, if there's better ways to use it, and let me show it to you, and then I'm gonna turn it over to you, and you can have at it. Cool, that sounds great. All right, cool. Let me share my screen. You'll have to be, uh, you have to confirm with me that you can see this. So, share. All right, so I'm gonna minimize, okay. It minimized it. Okay. Can you see this? Yes. So you see sign fairies, wish list. You yep. see wish list, photos, Facebook reviews. Um, so now what I do is I have a sign fairies.co um, URL and I tell people to come to this website. Welcome to the wish list. There's four simple things. If you'd like to review our new yard card themes, please click on the selected yard card theme below. All right. So the goal is that, that they read this very quickly. And then I also, then they would come down to either one of these two wish lips, wish list options. You'll see that I have a customized feature because I don't want people to think that they can't customize their sign, but I also have a themed picture or a theme option where if they wanted to buy a Vegas or they wanted to buy a camping theme or rent a camping theme, they could do either or. I didn't want to lose people if they didn't think that they could customize it. So that's why I made these two. And then if you go down to the bottom, I made a video. Click the video, reserve your yard card, let us take care of the rest. It's 90 seconds long and it walks you through what it is that you need to do. So I thought that that was a pretty slick way of doing it. Um, and it's worked. I've gotten, you know, with my new Google business advertising, I've probably gotten, I've probably rented, well, let's just say this, I've rented enough to pay for my my ex expense. Let's just say that, um, okay. which is awesome, which I love, all right? So if we walk through this like we normally would, I also give people an option to click on the reservation request form. Here's the embedded link that will take you there. So if they don't wanna do the below because they can't, then they don't have to. You have to bear with me. Sometimes nobody cares that I work at home, so they just come in here and just, <laughs> Take stuff or I don't know. Well, yeah. it happens all the time. Understand. It, it I happens understand. All, the time. all right. So this is your system. Um, and I figured out through your tutorials on your website and through having conversations with uh Colin, who I, I love by the way, um, how to make all of this work. It's a seamless process. And it, anybody can do it. So what happens is, and you already know this, but this is for everybody who's watching. Uh, if you, if people are commenting, I can't see the comments because I'm sharing my screen. So just hang on and follow the logic here. 
So I click on this button. This is a wish list. I click on this button. And this is what pops up. So select your yard cart theme. And my hope is, is that people will scroll down. There's a description of the birthday themes. I do, a, I talk a lot about upselling. So I let people buy um, balloons, uh, different colored balloons and bundles of five. That's an upsell charge of $30. And then what I have here is I have a package, uh, my, my blue bubble package. I have my Biff the bus driver package, which we love Biff. Back to school, right? So this is something that people can see and click on. And what they do is, and you already know this, is they, they pick a day. They want to rent one sign. This is a daily rate. I tell them it's negotiable in the video. It doesn't stop people from setting it up. They click on the date. So I want to rent it for the 25th celebrate our friend and then 26th and my start time you know let's just say is nine o'clock all right then i say add to wish list all right i tell people in the video you got to close this thing down and you got to click on the wish list so now you come down here to the wish list and you click on it and it opens up now this was a reservation from a previous um thing i did but what you do now and what i tell people to do is you click the contacted venue information so now this is where they add all their information i'm not going to do it because i've got my name in here like 30 times but your first name <laughs> last name email uh venue i simply say is your home address uh, you know where you're located postal codes and then in the notes you know tell me what it is that you want you know if you want a theme and you've already picked it then don't worry about it but tell me a little bit more about who you're celebrating and then i they they click send wish list and then what ends up happening is is the um wish list is a direct email i'm going to close this down and stop my sharing here. Uh, stop sharing. so what and i know that these people are now interested in a sign One second. Uh, okay. So um, I get an email that says, hey, I want to run a sign. So I don't really worry about much about the details because I know I'm going to call the person. So I call the person, I take the notes, and then I put the notes within Good Shuffle Pro, and then I go through the process of making sure that I have everything that I need, right? We know that I've uploaded themes. We know that I've uploaded, you know, balloons and other things, and I'm learning as I'm going what it is that I need to do with the send quote, right? So then I send a quote, they look at it, they electronically sign it, and then before I am going to go to anyone's house, they got to pay me. So they pay me, and then I get paid, I get notified, and then we're good. But like I said before, we want to make sure that we talk to these people because that aspect is really important, uh, at least where I live, um, because a lot of people are used to talking to us and not a lot of people like not talking to somebody here in North Carolina. So there's other companies that make it all automated and they don't even tell them if they can't reserve anything and they get really mad because right. we've heard a lot of stories about that and they don't like it. So um, that's the process. Now I will also tell you too that it's, it, the process that I have now, I know is it's working, all right? But it's like driving a car with two tires, right? Like, I know I'm not leveraging it and using it in the best way that I know how. Um, so what I can tell you is, is that um, I made a copy of the same exact page that I showed you okay. uh, where people were coming there reserve, what it is that they want to reserve. Um, and I, instead of having them go through that process of renting, they will be able to see all the themes when they come to that website. Right. So there's not an extra step. I wouldn't need to explain it. Right. Uh, other than, you know, pick, pick your theme or, or, or customize and then right. kind of go from there. Um, 
And yeah, because I noticed uh, when you said like hopefully they scroll down. That's why that was my biggest yes. concern when you showed me the way you set it up. It is different than what we would recommend as best practice. And my concern is that because they have to scroll down on on kind yeah. of all the different things you have listed there that they might miss all the different cool themes you have. So if it were me, I'd want to put it just on the page. Here's all the themes we have. Select right. one. And then you can have those other steps of oh and you can add the balloons and you can customize, but making sure they at the very least see the pictures of all the cool themes that you have, because that's obviously a huge selling point. Sure. Yeah, I, I think I think the reason. Oh, you still there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Maybe my Wi-Fi. Can you see me? I can see you now. Hold on. Siri is jumping up here. I don't know why she's getting all excited. She's very rude. That Siri always interrupting. She's very rude. She just go, turns on whenever she wants. It makes me get crazy. Um, the reason why I sort of bulldozed this process and didn't take the time that I probably should have to do it the way that it probably should be done is that I didn't want to have my website down. Right. So I just, I just, listen, I, I did what I could do. And I know it's not right. And I wanted to make it better. And that's part of the reason why you're here. Uh, is to show us how this all could work. But let me just show you, let me share my screen with the themes on my webpage okay. so that people can see it, so that they they know the difference. So give me one second, I'll share it again. I mean, that's one good thing too, though, is like you're saying, you don't have, you were able to still just go ahead and get it live like that. It's not that you had to do everything right in order to take advantage of the right. system. You could still, get in there, start sending out quotes right away, get paid online, have those online contract signatures like you talked about, have the website live, boom, 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 immediately. And now kind of then saying, okay, how can I do this a little bit better? What else did I miss when I kind of like sped through that process? So I, I think it is still great that you just wanted to get something live and you can do that. And then you can kind of say, all right, tell, tell me how I can do better. Well, yeah, and the other thing too is, is I didn't have time to inventory everything. You know what right. I mean? Like. That's a lot of work. And I thought, believe it or not, that I had to have all of my inventory in the tool in order to maximize it. And I didn't want to spend, I don't know, a couple of days, three or four days, whatever, you know, doing that. The fact that we could piecemeal it and do a little bit at a time is huge. And yeah. um, like, like I said, I, I kind of just went at it um, haphazardly and, and made it work for me and didn't take advantage of what it is. But let me just share my screen one more time. Okay. And then, so I'll show people. All right. So you can see this, right? Yep. Okay. So this is my live website. If you went there now, this is what you would see. All right. And so this is the new version but it's not live. So same process, same page, but now you can scroll down on the bottom and there's a search bar and there's all the themes and they're already right here. And this is where I think this is powerful because now I can set this up where instead of having two rows, I can have four rows and people will automatically know what they're getting and um, again, like what I thought would work is working, but this will work better. Um, right. so let's see. So let's do this. I think I've shared, do you feel like you have a good idea, a good understanding of kind of how my sales process works with good shuffle? Yes, I definitely okay. do. Cool. And th then I'm hoping, and let's just see everybody else does too. We got 12 people on here now. Does anybody have any? Just see if there's anything out of your questions. There's one in here already. Not yet. Okay. Vicky's there. Somebody else is saying that they're stuck. Um, is anybody else in stuck mode? Not on my end. It looks good on my end. 
All right, good. So then I like Crowdcast. I think it's easy. All right, so what I'm going to do is um, I am going to give you – oh, I think that's how we do it. So let's do this. I'll share the screen again, and then I think I can share – I can give you controlling access. Um, I think if you stop sharing, I might have the option to do it on my okay. end. Try it. All right. Be a little, if you scroll up to the top, oh, there you go. Damn, yep. you? Whoa. You can see it? Yeah. All right, so here's what I did. I stole directly from you, Renick. I, I pulled your pictures and stole your inventory. Um, and I know you said you felt like it would take a long time to build your inventory. Right. Um, but I spent exactly one hour tonight. I spent one hour and I had pretty much no yard cards in my system. I built the entire alphabet in my system. I've added a bunch of your specific cards and themes. I built this website, this one web page, and I did all of that within exactly one hour tonight. So I promise you, I know that it feels like, especially if you have a ton of inventory, which I think you do now, like yes. you've really grown this inventory and now it's kind of feels like this mountain to climb, I'm sure, but I promise we have tools to make it so fast. I just was dragging and dropping pictures directly into my system from your, from your site. I was batch adding things, it was, breezy and obviously i work for good shuffle so obviously i know i've got a little bit of an advantage on the speed side but i right. promise that if i can do it an hour anyone can get the you know their stuff in in you know what two hours i mean it, it can't it can't be that much different for for anyone else who's new to the system so right. what i did was based on what you're describing and based on what i saw that you were trying to do i was thinking well what if you actually put it on just like list it out um, and I've got my screen over here. That's why I'm pointing this way, but I've got, yep. <laughs> I've got it up over here. So you can see what I did is I said, step one, choose your theme plus an optional name. So I got back to school with Biff, which is my favorite cake time <laughs> and dinosaur den. Um, you can obviously tell I've got, I've got a bit of a Biff thing already. So, yes, uh, you great. can see that I described that it includes Biff and the bus and a backpack. And I did two stacks of books. I didn't build every single one of these in but sure. I did add all those in and I'll show you in a minute what that looks like on the back end too. Okay. Um, so it's telling me what I got here. It's got your pricing here. And yeah. then I've got these accessories here. So what it's doing is it's giving me the option to say, do you want to add a custom name with two to eight letters or a custom name with nine to 12 letters? And they're two different prices. So I don't know if you charge okay. a different price. That was just an example, but that way I could say like, yeah, I want to add my kid's name to this as well as the actual, back to school and you that. just clicked on the heart right like that's it this is a wish list like anybody that's gone to any website that will allow you to pick items before you go to the cart is no different right. right so it's simple it's very simple um totally simple and you can change the heart we've got clients i've got a couple other sites here you can see i snooze my my tabs there's snooze. you can see you can do plus signs or you know clipboards or other things too i like the heart because i think that it kind of showcases that it's a wish list like you're not 100 percent booked yet um yes. but it's you can totally customize that as well you can make it the little fairy that you have whatever you want to do yes i also then had step two of choosing delivery or pickup i'm guessing you probably do more deliveries but if that was an option or things like that you know you can even have it be you can see this is contact us for pricing because i have my delivery actually based on mileage and the system once it's put in is going to auto calculate that so that way so you're not awesome. seeing it like right up front. So let's just say, so the way that it works is we have an install date and then we have a pickup date. And I rent, some people rent within an eight hour window, but I rent within a 24 hour window. So yeah. if I install it at nine o'clock at night, tonight, I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow at nine o'clock at the same time. Yep, and one of the things that's really cool about the system is the system is smart enough to understand that when you drop off and pick up may not always correlate with how you charge. So what I mean is you might say like, I'm giving you a one day rental, but you know what, I'm coming back to your neighborhood on Monday. So I'm just gonna pick it up on Monday, but you only wanted it Saturday. So I'm only gonna charge you the one day. In our system, you can charge them one day, but if you say, but I'm dropping it off Saturday and I'm not picking it up till Monday, it'll know not to, to change the price if you've gone ahead and indicated that. But what it'll do is it'll still look for any inventory conflicts 
so that if you've forgotten that, hey, you've got Biff out on another job on Sunday, this is actually a problem, it'll it'll throw that alert for you. So wait a minute, let's, let's take a step back for a second because that's important. That's a really, I think that this is one of the biggest issues that our industry has, which is not knowing exactly where our inventory is, but let's do a hypothetical. So if okay. I did BIP the bus driver, where I'm gonna have back to school, the name, and let's just call 18 different flares, and I'm gonna rent it tomorrow at nine o'clock, but I have another install on um, Monday, uh, let's just say on Tuesday. Okay. So I'm gonna pick it up on Tuesday, but I won't have access to it for two days, even though they're renting it for one day. What you're saying is, is that Good Shuffle will know that if my wife gets a phone call and I'm not around and logs into the system and tries to rent Biff for Monday night because it hasn't been picked up yet, the system's gonna say, you can't do it, Biff's not home yet. Yep, 100%, yep. You can even go as far as to set buffers for certain types of inventory. So you could say like, I actually wanna always have 24 hours to turn around my yard cards because if I get them back and they're beat up, I wanna be able to fix them or whatever. And then the system would add an extra day or an extra six hours. I mean, you could do it down to the hour. Um, we see people do that with some of their stuff that they wanna be able to clean off. And they just say, add a couple extra hours on the end of any of these so that I get an alert, even though it's technically not till the next day, I just wanna make sure I've gotten myself some buffer time. So I'm not you know, magically turning things right back around and going out. So wow. you can really go okay. as far as that if you want. Right. So I put my step three on here as fill out the details in the cart. I don't necessarily even think you need to be this descriptive, but you know, if you wanna make sure people really get it, um, you know, make sure that you add the name you want in notes, all of that. So I can select a day, like let's say I wanted to do January the 30th. I can pick the time. I can also skip that. We try not to make people have too many things because people get frustrated. Um, I could say, you know, I can put in my name, I can put in my email, all of that stuff. And one of the things you'll notice is we don't require everything because like you said, you might want to jump on the phone and call them. You might want to do that. Of course, we want people to do more. We want to give you less work, but we also, there's tons of studies that show that the more number of things that you put in, the more entry fields, the more people go, oh, forget about this and leave. So we have the entry fields. We're only going to make sure that they put in the absolute need to have the first right. name, last name, the email. Um, and then I can skip ahead. And if I want delivery, probably I'm going to want to make sure that I have the place that I'm putting it. I pretend to put the Ritz Carlton all the time, even though that's probably okay. not the Ritz address. Live. Live the Ritz. Um, yeah. I live at the Ritz full time. You can't tell from my background. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I put in my note, like the name. Okay. Let's say I'm doing this for Mandy and I put the name Mandy, or maybe I put in more details, by the way, do you have a purple unicorn? Like you said, I might want right, to put right, that right. And when they send the list, you'll see they get an automated email. It'll come branded to your business. Like with you, I'm sure you've got the fairy sign, you've got all your logo, and it just says, your wish list has been received, we'll reach out shortly. So they've got the confirmation, they get that instant gratification, but they understand that to your point, it's not like 100% booked, you can't do this at midnight and expect someone at your doorstep at 6 a.m. Like crazy right. people think. Right. Um, where it gets really cool though, is that it doesn't just email you. So, you know, you're talking about like you had a Shopify before those things yes. are great, but all they're going to do is email you and you're going to have to rebuild it into some other system, but not with us. Cause it'll actually build the quote. You can see in my email here, I have a new wish list submission. Yep. And when I click to view the project, it takes me into, and I'm sure you're very familiar with this screen. Yep. This is a project in good shuffle pro. This is actually showing me any of the things that I need on this, this job. It's even added, you know, all of the individual components of, of what's going out for this job. So I can see that it even went as far as to recognize my name. So I have myself in the system as someone who works for an event planning business. I've got myself as someone who gets a corporate terms instead of standard terms and a 5% discount. So if you're working with like the school system and you give them a regular right. discount, you've got special people that you give a VIP thing to, you can have them do this and it'll still recognize it and apply their discount or anything special for the repeat people. Wow. And then what you're seeing here with these little grayed out things, that yeah. means that these are the things that I built in my package, but I don't want my client to see. I don't need them to see literally every single card, every single flare, right. you know, those are all sure. nice. But what it means is if I come over here to the client preview of this project that I'm building, I can see what the quote's starting to look like here. 
It's basically yeah. you get the back to school as a bus driver for 100 and then a custom name for 35. Um, they can see all that. On the back end though, and there's also PDF versions of this if you like to print things, it is showing me down to every single thing I need to on the day of prep, load, deliver. You can customize what these say. So like, you know, you and I have talked about growing this business that you're doing so fast, you're gonna need people to help keep up with that. So if you've got yeah. some, you know, college kid or someone down the street right. that you're like hiring and they're I not gonna know, know yeah. anything, yeah, you need to make sure that they see a list that you're gonna need two of the book cards. They're not gonna know that they only get, comes with one bus and two books, but if it's right here, it's kind of dummy proof. And then they just have to click it off and say, what's getting loaded. So that has a checklist on it? Checklist, digital checklist. You can even see in the logs who marks things off. So you can tell your son, uh, how come you marked this as loaded if you didn't actually make it on the truck? It is a full down to the second accountability tab as well. <laughs> It's like, pretty detailed. I have, I have this software, and I, you know, and I don't even know how to. Yeah, exactly. Okay, keep going. All right. So, inventory conflicts is what I really want to get like everyone onto. This is where we talked about. Not only does it prevent you from, you know, a mishap where you promise something you can't do, but obviously it also means that you can maximize your existing inventory. You don't have to live in fear of oh, I'm doing too many jobs. I'm worried I'm going to double book because the system will take care of that. We want you to keep doing more and more jobs, and we'll take right. care of the logistics. So you can see I have one of those conflicts here and it's showing me there's something wrong with my fifth yard car, my favorite guy. Oh my God, yeah, no. And I click on it and it's gonna show me right here that it's actually conflicting with another job that's blue. And in our system, there's a real easy color coding, yellow when it's new, blue once I've sent it, and green when it's signed. So what this means is I already put this on another project, but it's I sent it to them, they never signed off. So what I would do is I'd click it and see who it is, when it is, what the deal is, when's the last time they saw, did they read the message, did they care about the message? Now the first thing you're gonna notice is I did this and it is a almost $2,000 job, which would be right. pretty rare for like a pretty like straightforward yard card sign. Yeah. So what I did is I built this pretend thing for a school where I did this custom package for them for $1,500, where it's like the Biff yard card and then it says go dolphins and I've got some setup labor and I've got their delivery and everything. Um, so in this scenario, I'd probably try and give this guy Biff because he's paying me $2,000. Yeah, so no. he's gonna get the You want to give that guy Biff, that's all you gotta say. But then you can also see like, okay, well, did he even read the message? You can see here, I responded, so you can see it's me. Let me check with the PTA. You can see the last time he read the quote, so you know how serious he is about it. So you can really see, again, every detail is getting tracked, so that then in this scenario, I might say, all right, do I buy another Biff? Do yeah. I create another Biff? Um, or do I just call up my person, Karen, here, and say like, hey, I saw you're interested in the back to school package. Unfortunately, I have one available. I can do the name, I can do Mandy, I can do you know back to school. I cannot do the bus driver. Unfortunately, that card is out. Can I interest you in this other card and just have that conversation rather than in right. some other system that's not as detailed and it just says alert, alert and doesn't tell you what the alert is and you wouldn't really just turn her down. You say like, look, no, we've got you covered, but I got a problem here. I don't have Biff, I have Betty the bus driver instead. Is yeah, that gonna work for you? She's just me, she's, she's a bitch. She's just, you know, she's not nice like Biff. She doesn't live her life the Biff life, that's for <laughs> sure. Then, then I would even add in the Mandy. So you can see Mandy here. Well, they added the custom name. Well, you can go as far as adding to this package every letter, M-A-N-D-Y, um, making sure you have all those. I know a lot of times you just sort of, you know, go ahead and build those, that's fine too. Um, but you can also have them build it themselves. One of the things my colleague showed me, she has an, another fake company that just sort of had my fake company site here. She yeah. showed me that she had showed it to someone before where she said select your message was the first step, but then customize your card. And she only has one letter in so far, but you could have them actually add each individual card themselves too, if you wanted to do that, build your name below. Um, I would check Is this an work. existing client? Uh, this is my colleague Mallory, who you talked to on the sales demo. She built this as an example. Well, you know what's so funny is she built that for our, my presentation with her. And what's crazy is the picture of the two girls. They started, I think, in Ohio, um, a yard card business. And their mom oh, really? organized And they were the first two girls in their area that did it. And they used it. Uh, they actually donated 
It's crazy. Uh, really? But I, I remember telling Mallory that it was. It's a great story. There's a there's a TV piece on it. Anyway, I don't want to get distracted, but now I remember. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that's right? definitely where she got it. Then she said to me, she was like, you know, she said that she recommends because you know best practices can be different for each business. We love being sure. customizable. We don't want to tell you you have to run your business exactly this way. So it might be that you say, yeah, I like select your message, and I like having them pick out each um, letter. I liked the idea more of like just pick your theme and delivery, and I'll build it back. Um, you know, there's so many different ways you can do it. She also has this wedding builder, which is not yard cards, but I like the way she set it up. Oh, that's not this one. This one, she had like first look and then a ceremony and then a reception. So you can have people build in these steps. But what's really cool is then if they have things mostly how you want them, if it's pretty good to go, like if I come back, where's my example? I've got too many tabs now. If I've got this and it's like, yeah, this looks really good. I can change the names of things, by the way, so I can make sure that they know that the custom name that they're getting is Mandy. And I can say, you can put internal notes. So if you want to put a note to your son, like, don't spell it wrong, kid. <laughs> <laughs> they won't see that on the contract. All the internal notes show on the back end. Get um, it right, son. Don't mess up Mandy's name, whatever you do. Uh, yeah. And then once it's sent, you can see it turns blue. So now I know where I am. I've sent her the quote, whatever. And so to your point, in any part of this process, if you're a company that likes to pick up the phone and call, that's awesome, you can do that. And then you can start chatting about it. You might put something like custom name. Maybe I wanna say like Mandy's special name. Yeah, or make it make it a colored lettered name, right? And so do oh, it yeah. in, or do it in, you know, multicolor. And gold. Um, Mandy will love this, her favorite colors. So everything's customizable. This is not gonna go screwing up my inventory on other things. We, we, there's a difference between actually changing your inventory and changing just a contract. Right. Um, but then your client gets that emailed quote. I can go ahead and pull up my email that I got. And I've got a new quote, bada bing, bada boom. And then you know this process, they just approve, sign, pay. Three. Yeah, you go show them that, it's because it's awesome. Yep. So you can see that this has got my back to school. It's got my Mandy's name. You can see that it already changed too, even though I'd already sent the quote, you'll notice yeah. that changed. And one thing you and I had talked about, I should show is if I'm looking at this and I'm like, you know what? She's changed her mind. You know how kids are. Purple yeah. and gold were her favorite colors yesterday. Today it's blue and green. And I call right. you up and I'm like, oh, Renna, can you change this? You could say, you know what? Hold on. We don't even have to get off the phone. I'm gonna do that right now. And you're gonna see that change live. So I can say, oops, no, I want to show that on contract. A little click happy myself. So without even having to send her anything new, I'm going to show that. And then oh. I'm going to come in here and say, what did I say? Green and blue, yeah. our favorite colors. Well, check this out. If I'm Mandy's mom on the other line, see how it tells me something's updating? It's giving me a little, it changed it three times. So it gave me three little flashes there. Change, 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 green and blue. You don't even have to send a brand new quote. It's changing in real time. It's a real live link. So you can be going back and forth like that. And then she would just go, great, now I love it. Now I approve your terms and conditions, everything that's, again, you're customized, you build that in. All I would have to do to sign is type my name. You can do it straight from your phone. One fun fact, over 50% of contracts sent through our system are signed and paid within five minutes. So that's how fast and easy it is. And then it's gonna, you remember I gave her 50% down the rest do seven days prior. If you do it all up front, that's fine too. If I was within seven days, by the way, it would be smart enough to know she's passed the window for a deposit, everything's due now. So right. it does all of that. It changes it to an invoice automatically. It automatically calculates how much is due on upfront versus in the future. And you can even pass on processing fees to the client if you want to have them pay for a credit card. I love I'm going to choose credit card here. I looked at my reports and saw how much money I paid these credit card companies. I almost barfed. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the companies I want to work for, the credit card companies, like, man. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Now, with the credit card option, I picked credit card. I see somebody had asked, what can she pay with? You can do credit card. You can do e-check. You can do cash and check. One thing I like about credit card is it, uh, if you do kind of this dual one down and the rest due on the day of the event, you can click auto pay and it'll automatically draft the remaining amount on the day that it's due and even auto email them the day prior reminding them. So you don't have to be bill collector. You don't go have to go chasing down 
trying to get that remaining payment, it's just going to automatically go. Wow. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I see someone else asked about having multiple businesses. Yeah, um, yeah. So you can, I'd be curious to talk to that person. It's some, in some cases it makes more sense to have multiple accounts for multiple businesses. Another it's, it's just depends. Like share inventory and share a bank account then I would run them all through one. Like for example, we have people who do DJing, but then they also rent out their gear and they usually have one system, um, but it depends. So yeah, Mark, let me know. I would be happy to, to chat and see if it makes sense. Yeah, we can absolutely, Mark. Um, I, I have a, a landing page that you could go and set up uh, sometime. I don't know if it's with you, Karen, or if it's Mallory, either one. They can hook you up, Mark. It's, it's, it's so easy. Even you can get it. <laughs> you got to say what the landing page is. It's pro.goodtriple.com slash sign fairies. So yeah. sign dash fairies. And so I would say go there, sign up, jump on a call with us. We will happily walk you through. And I, everyone's situation is a little bit different. So we're always happy to say, oh, you would like it more like this. You're interested in setting up this type yes. of website. And we can walk you through that. Let me find the landing page. Um, there, put that on there. You have it? Uh, I can pull it up and send it out. All right. So, look, you know, we covered a lot of stuff here. I think for the most of everybody that knows me thank you karen most of everybody knows me i'm i'm always thinking out of the box which is sometimes a bad thing but i'm always trying to refine what it is that, that i'm doing and i know from doing it wrong that having a way to do it right is never going to hurt you it's just going to make you know, invest some time to make it happen but this is what businesses do that want to be scalable and that want to grow profits and want to provide customer service. And it's easy, you know, and I fell into a good shuffle pro by accident and I'm grateful I did because it's, it's, it's morphing into more than what I thought and what I even expected. So, um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's worth checking out. Um, because you got nothing to lose. I think scalable is a really good word for it because people ask me all the time, do you guys work more with small businesses or large businesses? And the answer is both because we are built to be simple enough for very straightforward kind of small businesses that don't want to have, they don't really need every single tool, but then we scale with you. Like the goal would be that a lot of our clients have said since working with you guys, we've doubled our business and now we have all of these people working for us or things like that. And we've of course built all the tools as well as you get there. Because if you if you pick a tool that is only for really small businesses, then you're gonna outgrow it and then you gotta start all over again with another Correct. tool. Correct. And the other component here too is is that, you know, look look guys, we're all in we're all in the events business. Right. So, you know, we're delivering signs all day long. And I've shared with the group um recently that we have an opportunity to do a corporate event where we're going to be putting on a drive through Christmas, you know, um, theme where we're going to have different theme stations, photo booth opportunities. Now the good part about that is, is that that was a business I never thought I would get in. Um, and the second part is, is that they're going to, you know, they're going to help me pay for my inventory. And the third part, now I can manage it all and have it in one spot and know where it is all the time. And that I would think for someone in the rental business is exactly what you want to do is be able to know what you have and what you don't have and, and track it. Because if you keep on top of it, it's only going to benefit you because now you know when you can't rent Biff and you'll know when you need to overcome something to satisfy the customer that did want Biff, right? So it's just... It just opens up doors, I think is the right way of saying it. And being scalable, the difference between a $1 million company and a $5 million company is scalability, straight up scalability. 
if you can't scale, then you're, you can't grow. And this is the kind of stuff that will grow, you will grow into by default if you just get used to it. And the stuff that's built in that maybe you haven't thought of yet too. Things like, you know, obviously we love Biff because Biff's the coolest, but it may be that then like in a year you look back and we have reports built in the system that'll tell you like, actually Biff didn't make you very much money. And this is, this is like your least popular yard car. <laughs> and Renick just loves him and so does Karen. And this is just a weird thing that they have, but he's not actually profitable for you. And that's Biff really money important to know. Right? Biff he's is losing a lot of money. <laughs> It is time for it. Biff to retire from driving. <laughs> well, you know, like we got Biff shirts, you know what I mean? Like he's, he's a popular guy, but nobody thinks so. <laughs> so. so, I mean, I love Biff. Don't get me wrong. Kurt, no, I'm no. not saying that he's not good. I'm just saying the things you might not have thought of, like let me double check and see how it's going in the system. Like a report on which of my yard cards is renting out the most is maybe not something for the newer business owners they thought of yet, but then, it's like, don't worry, we're built for a rent rental. So we've, we've thought of it for you. We've got a system in there that, you know, you can even mark that I'm, I'm sub-renting this a bunch. I keep having to borrow extension cords from another company. Why don't I just buy more? And so those kinds of reporting and stuff, you don't have to worry and then go back in time and try and figure them out. They're already in the system. It's already there for you. So I think it's even the stuff that you're not thinking of, the problems you haven't had yet that we're kind of already have ahead, ahead for you. No, I love it. And, uh, I think the other key component here too is um, Colin uh, in customer service is is phenomenal. I mean, yeah, I love. I mean, he has the most dry sense of humor I've ever come across, <laughs> but I love it. I absolutely, it's just brilliant, and yeah. you know uh, that has been helpful too. Um, yeah. So, so let me do this. I think everybody knows that we like Good Shuffle Pro. Um, if anybody has questions, I think now would be a good time to ask them. And, um, you know, because a lot of people are seeing this for the first time, they might have a lot of interesting questions. Let's give them an opportunity to ask. Usually when I say that, nobody asks any questions, but that's okay. I've got somebody asking about the primary client base for Good Shuffle. Uh, obviously, Good Shuffle is not built for yard card rentals, but it will work. Um, well, so it, it's funny that you say that. So the majority of our clients are event rental companies, but there's tons of different things that are event rentals, right? Like tents are event rentals, tables and chairs are event rentals, um, centerpieces are event rentals. There's people who specialize just in tabletop, which is the charger plates and the forks and the spoons and the knives and you know the, all the runners that go on the table. There's people who specialize in linens. So yard cards is actually very much in that realm. We actually don't even have a separate category for yard cards because it operates very much as the same as the majority of our clients, which are people who rent things out for events, for special occasions, whether that's a wedding, whether that's someone's birthday, whether it's a graduation, whether it's a holiday party, um, you know, those are the exact things you're doing with yard cards. Um, right after that, I would say we have got a decent chunk of people who they don't really rent things out unless they're part of the planning process, the decor design people who do like big galas and stuff. Um, and we've got DJs and entertainment companies, uh, florists. So anyone who's in the events industry who has inventory that they manage benefits from Good Shuffle Pro. So are you telling us that we're not unique? Our industry is not unique. <laughs> Everyone is very unique. That is one of the favorite things everyone says. Well, my business is very unique. And so that's how I'll call start. Yes. So, no, 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 no. You know. I love it. I mean, you're right. I think there's a there's something normal about hearing, look, our business has exploded when COVID started. There's hundreds upon hundreds of people starting yard cards every day long. The reality is, cost you a thousand dollars, you start your own business and then you just got to work hard. And, you know, to know that what we think is unique and different just simply because it's grown so fast falls within a dynamic and a business business vertical that has been around for a long time. Right. right? So, you know, you're not recreating the wheel. You're just simply plugging and playing. So instead of lemons, you're putting Biff instead of, you know, forks, you're putting, you know, letters, right? Like, yeah. so, you can keep on adding to it. And everybody knows that I'm a big fan of upselling. Everybody knows I'm a big fan about making your own letters. So you can have the power to add what you want and also sell them, you know, like 
Yeah. That's and everyone right. is a little unique. I mean, don't get me wrong, just because the basic mechanics are similar amongst companies. And so we're very familiar with the processes. Like you said, you like being on the phone. Some people don't. Some people are like, I want to make sure that I make it as clear as possible on my website so I don't have to talk to people. And we can help you with that too. So it, that's why we encourage people to do a one on one demo. You know, we've got videos online you can check out. But the reason we like that personal touch, why you, why you talked to Mallory in the beginning, is because we want to make sure that if you say, hey, it's important for me to talk to people or it's important for me to make my proposals green or whatever it is right. that we have the, the conversation and show you how to do what is different for your business. Yes. Tags are huge, Mark. I've got everything in my, my inventory is tagged. That makes sense? Tagged, um, like tagging the actual inventory items. Correct. You can also see on our end, when I talk about the level of detail, let me pull back up that order. I don't think I've shared. I think you gave me sharing. You want me to share a screen with you? Uh, I can share my screen again. Hold on, let me see. Oh. Something else asking questions. So when you, these are like the actual individual cards that we're talking about here. You can see the details of something. This is not gonna have a whole lot of details because like I said, I literally added this right before the call. It was super easy. I just dragged things in. Um, so you can come in here and you can see that, you know, I've got each individual thing that I'm pulling and that I'm delivering. You can actually see, uh, if I pulled up a different order, I could probably show you more of the usage reports I'm talking about, but this is actually what is driving you to be able to see each individual component, each individual letter, all of that. That's awesome. Yeah, and, and and this was part of part of the thing that got me not wanting to use it until Mallory, you know, cornered me was that I don't want to inventory all my stuff. <laughs> you know, it's hard, and you know, it's daunting. And but the reality is, is that's you got to. There's just no way. You know, you you, you got to put gas in your car in order to get somewhere. This is the same thing. And I yeah. agree, Mark. You're absolutely right. It's totally worth it. Um, and I would say to people who are thinking about this, like ask yourself what, what your you know, two-year plan is and your five-year plan, right? Because my brother-in-law who owns, um, uh, sells plants uh, online, he sells a, it's, it's a planting tree. You can buy plants online. He had, he had to go through exactly what you said. He had to upgrade his software to Oracle. It cost him 50 Gs. Right. Whoa. So, yeah. And to your point, like, you know, that's a that's a that's a unique example. But, you know, I would imagine because you're a SaaS program that like the scalability is already baked in and, you know, it's similar. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. When you said that you were looking on Fiverr for someone to build you a program. Oh my God, I, it gives me it gives me anxiety because I've talked I talked to so many small businesses that went into a contract with a developer who said like, yeah, I can build this for you real basic. You know, it'll be a few thousand dollars. And they were kind of said, okay. And then they went into it and then it's not what they wanted. And it's not quite how they imagined. And the guy doesn't really understand how their business works, which is unique. And then they keep going back and forth. And each time it's hours of billing. And then if they want it updated or if they change their minds or they grow their business in six months, then they're uh, paying the same person. And it's this money trap. And it's, oh, I've heard just really scary stories. So if there's anything I'm I can so say, you know, if you don't do a good shuffle, please go to one of our competitors. I would much rather you find a competitor that you like better than us for whatever reason. I can't imagine a reason, but fine. But please do not go down the custom custom route. You're going to end up in a, in a money pit. Well, I, I went down that route. Thank God I have a buddy of mine who's uh, in recruiting for de de developers. Mm. And I said to him, hey, is this a good idea? And he was like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> you know, like, are, do you want to spend, you know, $15,000 on something that will cost you, you know, $29 a month? I was like, no. He's like, don't do it. So it said the same exact thing. Because people don't realize that there's software out there for everything, you know? Like, people are like, oh, there's no way. Yeah. But event rentals is a huge industry, you know? There's tons and tons of these sub-industries in it. And, um, and that's why there's custom software for these things. So um, another place to always look is, is Capterra.com. It's a... Yep. Uh, it's like Yelp for software. So it's, you know, where people go and review us and they're like 
you know, really, really nuts about making sure they vet to make sure that they're actually a customer of yours. So you don't get all the junk you see on Amazon.com of people. And so yeah, you can no, go I there and see it. Yeah. yeah. I feel good one. Cat there is great. Well, look, I think we're coming up on an hour and I want to stick to, um, uh, you know, 60 minutes. Yeah, let's do it. I have someone asking about scanning. We yeah. don't have a barcode scan. Um, that's not something, it's something we've looked at for the future. Most of the like, majority of the people we talk to on a daily basis either don't have barcodes or a lot of people have tried them and had not as great uh, experiences with them. So I'm happy to chat about kind of the ups and downs I've heard of barcodes and why we don't have that right now. But in the future, it's something we, we would probably ask about QR codes too. Do you do QR codes? We don't QR code the actual items. You have QR codes on your pull sheets though that help you pull up projects. So like, I don't know if you print out your pull sheets, but you can easily pull up the project with a QR code. Um, right. But we don't individually do it because most of the people don't want an actual like code on yeah. stuff for events. I, I get it. All right, well listen, um, I'm gonna uh, post this up on YouTube and um, it'd be great if you could uh, give us your contact information or yeah. you know, actually you know, just go to the landing page and, and sign up there. But you can give, me, give it to me as well and I'll put it in the description uh, and the YouTube channel and then um, yeah, that's it. I mean, what yeah. else? Whatever you want to do this again, I'm happy to walk through other parts of the program. I know we talked a lot tonight about like how the quoting and the wish list works. If you want to talk about, you know, any of the inventory reports or, you know, some of the pull sheets and how that works or anything like that, you just let me know. I'm happy to, to jump on and talk about it. We have an integration with QuickBooks online. We have an integration Google Ooh, Calendar is helpful. Yep. Yeah. So anything so you want. How much, someone's yeah. asking how much it is a month. It starts at 79 a month. And that gets you two users right out of the gate. So the owner of the company, and then there's an extra user that you can use for like, if you have someone who does the execution side of things. Um, and then from there, there's cost per extra user, um, but they're like 35 for sales user, 15 for a limited user. Um, and it's all on our site and you can do a pricing calculator and add the things you want and see what your monthly price would be. Okay. Awesome. You're the greatest, especially on a Sunday night. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. This is fun. I'm always painful. happy to. We have fun here. Yeah, anything that involves chat, chatting about Biff is just, you know, know, now my new passion in life. It totally is. You got to send me your address. I'll send you a Biff shirt. Yeah, there. I'm so excited for the Biff shirt. I'm going to be wearing it all the time for my good jumbo <laughs> shirt. You're be like, who is this guy? What is your expression? Yeah. yeah, you say you got to go to you got to go to sign fairies. Check out Biff. You just got to be like him. I don't know why you got to be like him, but you have to. And he's a bus driver. You have to. So great. You're the greatest, Karen. Thanks so much. I'll reach out to you um, probably probably not this week because I got that thing going on, but next week because I, I really need you to point me on what yeah. it is I need to do with my website and what we talked about. But um, you're the greatest. I appreciate all your help. Yeah, likewise. Well, good luck with the big event this weekend. I'm really excited for you and really, really thrilled to, to see pictures and hear how it went. Karen, can we... Where's Karen who hosts these Sunday meetups? What do you mean, Mark? <laughs> I know what you mean, Mark. Yeah, that's fine. If she wants to, she can, but she doesn't have to. She's not obligated. <laughs> Sunday meetups. As long as they're coming. Meetups. Right, exactly. I, as a matter of fact, I might even have to get you uh, the bus, the actual uh, Biff in the bus. Biff in the bus would be great. I don't know where in my apartment Biff would live, but Listen, we'll, find, right we'll find a place. It, right, hold on. So Vicky's got another. Everybody's, you know, what happens is we do this live stream and it, it's like radio. You know, you talk and then two minutes later, people are asking questions. It's embedded in the website. So you want to answer that? Yes, it's embedded in your website. So we work with almost every website platform except for Wix. So if you're picking a website platform, please don't pick Wix. They don't allow integrations like ours. Everyone else does. So WordPress, Weebly, Webflow, Squarespace, all of those would be great. So I use Squarespace um, and I integrated the website that you saw was Squarespace. And and you did it I yourself, went, right? I did it you myself. Did it I did everything myself. So. What's, so I'm a visual learner. I, you know, I'm a, a much better visual learner. And what I liked about um, the help portion of what it is that you guys do was that, you know, Colin's on there with the videos, and it's just he makes it he makes it easier. So um, it's not anything that you can't figure out. Yeah, it's it's easy. And the Colin that we're talking about is our customer service 
uh, lead. And so we are really, really big on our customer service, our customer success, our goal. If anything, we're chasing you down to say like, get on a free training because yeah, we want yeah. people to learn and to keep growing in the system. So it's pretty unique. Most software companies are going to see things. It's totally free. It's totally included. I think we need to have Colin on the program just to have him. Everyone wants Colin. <laughs> Colin is the best. Here's a fun fact about Colin. Colin does tie day Friday and wears a tie every single Friday. No. Nobody else does, but he is so committed and he has done it for years since he's worked for Good Shuffle and it just oh, brings joy to everyone. I just need to talk about Colin because people have to experience him because he's one of a kind. You know, Another fun fact about Colin is that this lamp that's above my head that's way, way, way up there. Yeah. That's how tall Colin is. I was taking a is bet. He that tall? I was taking a bet when I moved my desk over here that I bet Colin couldn't stand here because of that lamp and I measured it. And that is exactly Colin's height. So how, how tall? Short. Six foot four. I'm really short. Wow. You also can't tell. But yeah. <laughs> Well, it's a combination of things happening I here. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right, listen, we could go on forever. That's what happens during these live streams. But I will be in touch real soon. If you have questions and you want to schedule a demo, you can click on the link uh, in the um, what is it in the comments, uh, and you can sign up. And um, Karen or Mallory will take care of you. Who I both work with, and they're great. And that's it. Stay tuned. The other thing is, I, I think next week for the live stream. I don't know if you use this, uh, Karen, but a lot of people in our group have been asking about Google Voice. Are you familiar with Google Voice? Yeah. Do you use it? Google Voice, like for a phone number? Yeah. Like Google Voice, the free phone number that Google gives you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my business so, phone, the Google Voice number. Yeah, mine too, right? So not many people know that Google will give you a free phone, phone number, right? and all the services that it offers, and you can also text on it as well. So I think next week we're gonna do a uh, live stream on Google Voice. Um, I'm happy to join, if you wanna join us, you can, but you don't know how to advocate. Please share me that link with me and we'll share it on the Good Shuffle uh, social media because these are the kinds of things that I'm so passionate about, people knowing about all the technology that's available. There's free technology that's available and really inexpensive technology that's available. So I'm happy to share that. I would love for people to learn more. We also have some. Uh, we also have a couple other live streams where some of our group members, just so that you know, um, like one woman in particular. There's uh, Amanda. She does like 40 yard cards a week, and she does all of her advertising on Facebook for free. So she spent like an hour and 15 minutes with us on the phone, going over everything that she does and how she does it and what you need to do with the Facebook algorithm in order to get seen more. And, oh, my God, it, it caught That's on. That's like so that. cool. Oh, my so gosh, yeah. Please share. I'll share, I'll, I'll share all that stuff with you, and then we'll figure out uh, what happens there. But enjoy the rest of your night. Thank it was you. great to connect with you, and I will Always be in touch pleasure. with you very soon. Sounds good. Thanks to everyone for joining. Bye, everybody. Have a great night.